During operation, the bellows are constantly expanding and contracting. And like all mechanical things, they will eventually fail. In a typical building with, say, 1,000 hours of heating per season, the trap might open and close about three times per minute. And so, in a single heating season, the trap may be opening and closing about 180,000 times a year. After five or six years, the trap may have opened and closed more than one million times. That is a lot of wear and tear on a thin mechanical bellow. Simple metal fatigue will destroy the trap after a few years. It's like bending a piece of metal backwards and forwards on the same axis. It will eventually break. Additionally, the corrosive nature of the condensate will cause the bellows to weaken. Typically, a steam trap only has a useful life of around three to five years. Thermostatic radiator traps do not slowly stop working. When they fail, it is instant and without warning. There is no slow deterioration in operation, so the bellows should be replaced as part of routine maintenance according to the manufacturer's recommendations. When the bellow breaks, the water inside the bellow will escape and so the bellow can no longer respond to changes in temperature. When bellows fail, the trap can either fail open or closed depending on the type of construction. With the open failure, when the bellow ruptures, it allows steam to pass through. This occurs because the bellow's default length isn't enough to close the valve. The bellow is filled with water and alcohol. This expands and forces the bellow to expand past its default position. So, when the bellow ruptures, it returns to its default length and the valve is left open. This will allow steam to flow through, which wastes energy and causes problems in the system. This can be very hard to detect because the steam is still flowing through, so the radiator will still be hot. The other type of failure is the closed failure. When the bellow ruptures, the bellow drops and blocks the valve, effectively closing it. When the valve is constructed, the bellow hangs freely and blocks the outlet. Water is placed inside and a vacuum is formed to draw out the air inside. This causes the bellow to rise up and compress. When the steam enters, the bellow expands and blocks the outlet. If the bellow ruptures, it will drop and block the outlet. The radiator will eventually stop giving out heat, so you can tell the valve has failed. Okay, that's it for this video, but to continue learning about heating systems and engineering, check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course, theengineeringmindset.com.